Hello everyone, welcome back again. In this tutorial, as you see, we are going to create this lower third animation inside of After Effects. If you are new, please subscribe my YouTube channel and like this awesome video in order to create more videos for you. And if you hit the notification bell, you will be informed with the new tutorials. Alright, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. As you see, I have this comp. Let's see composition settings. It is 1920, 1080 and 30 FPS. Great. Let's name it main composition. Click OK. All right. And I need to import a color palette here as you see. Click import. Brilliant. Let's put this on the scene and press S on the keyboard. Scale it and decrease the size. And let's put here. I think that's good enough. All right. Let's lock it because we don't want to because we don't want to change location accidentally. Grab the rectangle tool here and let's change color uh, and as this color. OK, click OK and create a rectangle here. Brilliant. Click here pan behind by holding control on keyboard and click two times. As you see, the anchor point is at the center of shape. Brilliant. Let's name it rectangle. Brilliant. Press S on the keyboard and in, uh, open the scale parameters. Uh, we need to break the change because I want to decrease and increase the size as you see. All right. Brilliant. Press zero on the keyboard. Let's go to at the beginning of timeline and create a keyframe. And here for the first second, let's type 100. All right. That's good. Now. Select all the keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy is, go graph editor, we need to change the graph according our wish. For instance, I chose, I select this last keyframe and drag this handle here, again this handle here. When I do that, as you see, it will begin in a fast way and then we will see and the slowing time will be bigger than this one. Alright, good. Let's see the animation, as you see, that's brilliant. Alright. I want to have uh, the second one and the third one. So uh, control D for duplicate this layer and offset on the timeline here. Just 10 keyframe, 10 frame. Again, go here and control D again, duplicate and drag it here. So we have three rectangles here. Uh, right now we need to change the color. Click this one and click color and select eyedropper tool and choose this color. All right. Let's do the same thing for the third shape and eyedropper and choose this color. Click OK. Now we see this rectangles, the animations and the colors. Brilliant. All right. Now let's add the text. I click and grab the text tool. Let's type my name, which is Omar Farouk Kokman. Press S on the keyboard, decrease the size and put this one here. I think I need to increase a little bit time and yes, that's good enough and make sure uh, I mean you can choose whatever font you want, but I choose Montserrat. All right. Brilliant. OK, let's animate it. Uh, open this parameter, animate and add opacity again, animate at this time. Uh, where is it? Position. All right. Now uh, decrease the position like this one. I mean at the bottom of shapes. All right. And decrease the opacity as zero. OK, let's animate it. Go to range selector and let's see. Let's this one. Let's make it 100. This one. Yeah, that is that's good. OK, let's uh, let's animate start. Create keyframe for start and then let's make it 100. So we have this typing animation. Great. Let's make right click keyframe assistant and easy. I think that's good enough and let's increase the duration between keyframes by dragging the first keyframe. All right. Brilliant. I think when the last shape comes around, I can see the title. Yeah. Brilliant. OK. I like it. If you want, uh, let's go to the uh, let's go text and animator. And if you want, uh, for instance, let's go to the advanced panel and increase the ease high as 30 and ease low as 80. We can see now a more smooth animation. All right. Brilliant. 
Okay, let's uh, close this text. Okay, let's make the company name or branch name if you want at the bottom side. Uh, let's lock those layers because we don't want to uh, change their location. Brilliant. Again, grab the rectangle tool. This time, let's select this color. Okay, click OK. And I create a rectangle here as well. Brilliant. Let's zoom in by holding Alt. Use your mouse wheel. All right, I think that's good enough. Again, add another name here. Let's grab a title and add our title, which is like motion designer. All right, brilliant. Drag it here. I think we need to decrease the font size. And if we want, we can select the color we want. For instance, let's select this color. Excellent. Now again, uh, we need to animate it. And I want to see this animation comes at the back of this first shape. So I need to pre-comp it. Let's name it subtitle and make sure you move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Excellent. Brilliant. Now let's animate it. When the first title comes, we can see this one. Okay, press P on the keyboard, create position, drag a little bit time on the timeline and let's put and by holding shift, put this subtitle here. Okay, don't worry, we will not see here. All right, we need to mask it because uh, we want this subtitle just in here. All right, grab the rectangle tool. It doesn't matter what color you want because it will be a mask layer. All right, let's create a rectangle which covers the motion designer subtitle brilliant let's name it mask okay now the last thing we need to do uh, make a masking so uh, select this track mate which is a new feature in after effects in uh, 2023 so make sure you update your after effects version or you can use the old method which is alpha mat. Okay, let's grab this pick whip and put this one and parent with mask. Okay, when we see the animation, as you see, the second subtitle comes after the first title. Okay, brilliant. Let's see the animation. I mean, let's go to the third second and press N on the keyboard. Just we need to preview this area. And it's brilliant, but make sure you create a smooth keyframes and if you want uh, we can change the curve according our wish so i think that is fair enough yeah brilliant okay the last one we need to do is the reverse this animation so go here around here all right and drag this end point Right click this area and trim composition to work area. Brilliant. Uh, now let's create a new composition, make it render 1920, 1080 and 10 seconds should be enough. Click OK and let's select the main composition. I think I accidentally name it wrong. Let's name it main and here as well. OK, brilliant. Now, as you see, I have this lower third animation. I want to do the reverse one. So control D and drag it here. Right click this layer and here time go time section and time reverse layer. So as you see, the animation goes back. And we really did an amazing job. All right, perfect. Let's press and on the keyboard. So we have this nice lower third animation inside of after effects thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope you find it very useful if you like this video please leave a like and if you have any questions you can ask on the comment section below i will answer your questions as soon as possible and make sure you subscribe my youtube channel until next time see you later